It's Friday, 1985, and you've been waiting all week for what promises to be one of the best episodes of Miami Vice ever. Out where the buses don't run, we'll find Crockett and Tubbs trying to help a soon-to-be-revealed, crazed and murderous ex-cop apprehend a drug dealer. But then out of the blue, your parents remind you about the dinner party they're going to, and how you have to go hang out with your cousins at your aunt and uncle's house until they get back. Yeah, the weird cousins, all creepy seven of them, and they aren't even allowed to watch Miami Vice. Fortunately, your parents just laid down 500 bucks for a brand new state-of-the-art Hitachi VT33A. Or was it a Zenith Smart VCR with hi-fi stereo and a remote control that controlled both the VCR and the TV? Anyway, you quickly load the last brand new VHS tape you've been hiding from your dad, who secretly records and watches the A-Team after everyone's gone to bed so no one knows he watches it. And you program the new smart VCR to record Channel 9, the local NBC affiliate, at 9 p.m. When you finally return home, just past 10.30, after hours of randomly flashing red, blue, green, and yellow lights of the Milton Bradley Simon, and your nerves have been shot from endless hungry, hungry hippo, you run to the VCR and grab the newly recorded Miami Vice from the VCR, run to your room, and stuff it under your pillow. It's as if you own now a piece of Miami Vice history. As you lay in bed, letting the imagined perils of Tubbs and Crockett's latest adventure permeate your subconscious through your pillow, you decide to sacrifice your regularly scheduled Saturday morning episode of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe to watch it. Fast forward to 2019. You're balding, you're gray, you tell dumb jokes, and now you have to go to stupid dinner parties. But you never think twice about what TV shows you might be missing while you're out. You can watch Miami Vice anytime you want, even on your 60-inch internet-ready Samsung Smart TV, or in any contemporary TV using a Roku, or an Amazon Fire, and an or an Xbox, a laptop, a tablet, a cell phone, or anything capable of connecting to the internet and playing video. Now, you can stream all five seasons of Miami Vice on NBC.com whenever you want to, and you can watch them back to back. There's no programming, no hardware, no setting times, no hoarding of tapes, no recording of anything, uh, except your viewing history that they use to give you more TV shows like Miami Vice. So the question is, what are the fundamental changes in the consumption of television in this anecdote?